Do you make an income outside of your day to day job based in Australia or New Zealand and hate doing your taxes each year? In this video I'll be talking about Henry, a remote team of accountants who take care of all the boring accounting jobs that take your time away from earning, all for a low cost of 1% of your self employed income. Their specialty is working with creators, self employed tradies, contractors and anyone else that needs an all in one accounting service that can get the job done at a reasonable cost. I've been using Henry to take care of all of my self employed income and the experience has been great. They have a desk that assists with any questions you have and the website offers the ability to issue invoices, chase late payments and lodge expenses. Basically they do it all. I post a lot of content just like this in the personal finance and investing space. If you'd like to watch more videos just like it please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. I'll start this video by talking about Henry, where they started and where they're heading. Second I'll be walking you through the website and showing all of its different features. And third I'll be providing a free $25 credit for you to get started, allowing you to waive all your Henry fees on your first $25 $500 in revenue sent through them. Henry was founded in New Zealand in 2017 by Claire and James who found a gap in the market for a fully digital accounting service for those who were self employed. Prior to founding Henry they too were self employed and dreaded the time and complexity involved with lodging their taxes each year. In about half a decade they have built out their business to both New Zealand and Australia with a team of over 60 serving tens of thousands of sole traders in both countries. Their goal then and now is to make accounting easy for the non accountants. So you can reprioritize doing what you do best, generating a self employed income. Since its founding, according to Crunchbase, Henry has raised about $57.3 million, which is no small feat. Across four funding rounds, their largest investors have included Australia's EVP and Airtree Ventures and Left Lane Capital, based in the United States. The founders each have about an 11% stake in the company, and there's a scattering of other New Zealand based investors. On Airtree's website, it is mentioned that Henry stands as New Zealand's largest accounting firm and is one of the most professionally run startups they've ever come across. Many businesses also use Henry to manage their contractor payroll including Mevo, Shazies, TradeMe, Hatch, Simplicity among many others. The strong backing of Henry shows it's here to stay and with such a robust market proposition is only likely to go from strength to strength giving users the confidence to trust them with their tax affairs. So now let's take a look at the website. When you go to the home page and you've already signed up for Henry you can simply sign in. That brings us to our dashboard which is the heart of the Henry platform. At the top left you'll see a list of outstanding invoices that have yet to be paid. For example if you're a website builder and you do a few pieces of work a week you can create an invoice and Henry will send it out. While awaiting the payment for this you'll see the details of that here but we'll get more into that later. At the top right we have your expenses. These are the items you're expensing to your business such as your Henry fees, car, premises, utilities, anything that is used by the business to generate its revenue. We'll get more into that later too. At the bottom left we have your income and expenditure which tracks all the money that has come through your Henry account and the expenses as you've raised them. And on the bottom right is you've recently received payments and where they've come from. The first screen that we have is clients. This is where you'll come to set up your client details for quoting, invoicing and tracking of payments. Simply click new and fill out the details. First is their business or personal name. For example pretend I'm a subcontractor for Dave's plumbing. And the main contact for correspondence for example is Dave. Then we need to input an email address where you'll be able to send all your quotes and invoices. Then you have a flag for whether the client has paid tax on your behalf and in most cases this will be set to no. And then we have several options depending on your preferences. The first set is for invoices and quotes. When you create a quote you can select whether it sends automatically to the customer and yourself. Something cool Henry can do is chase your invoices if they remain unpaid for a further two days beyond their due date. This can save you a lot of time as you won't need to chase your customers for money it will all be handled automatically with this flag. You can also opt for customers to receive a PDF invoice and other details such as an address. Under the advanced options Henry can also handle overseas customers, a default discount on their quotes and invoices and a few bespoke options for company directed drawings, short term rental income such as Airbnb or having a unique reference number for dealings with the client. Once happy you can then save the client details. Next up we'll be issuing a quote to the client we just set up. So we click new at the top of the page and search for our client then click next. Now we can create an itemized list of things that we're quoting for the customer. Let's start with the materials. First we have a sink with a cost of $200. Second we have the pipes with a charge of $10 per meter with 5 meters needed for this job. Then we need to add the labor cost with 1.5 hours at a charge out rate of $80 per hour. As you can see here the quote has a value of $370. If you are registered for GST you can update this in your settings and you'll see this come through on the screen and added to the quote. Under the advanced settings you can also set an expiry for this quote. By default this loads as one month. You can also add additional comments and hide or show your phone number on the quote. Once happy you can preview, save the quote as a draft or send the quote to your client. If you click send you'll see a preview of the email that will send to your client before confirming below. 
As you'll see, there is a view quote link. We can view what the client will see upon clicking that under the preview option. Once you've sent the quote to the client and they're happy to proceed, you can then go into the quote screen and convert the quote to an invoice. You can also go directly to invoicing via the invoice screen and clicking new. This will take you down the same path as quote, so the best practice is to quote first and then turn it into an invoice to save you the hassle of writing it out again. We now have some additional settings in the screen, the first being scheduling. Here we can define when we want the invoice to be sent to the client. This can be useful if you front load your invoices and only want it to send once the work has been completed. Under advanced options, you can define the invoice date, the due date for payment, start and end dates of the work, and whether the invoice is repeating. There is also a selection of other items below that. By clicking next, you'll see a preview of the email to be sent to the client. Again, we can preview the link to see what the customer will see. And finally, we'll come around to the payslip screen. Here you can see a record of all the payments you've received into your Henry account. By clicking on each item, you can view the amount they sent, the amount captured by Henry for income tax, ACC, and their own fee, and finally the amount they've sent onwards to your bank account. And finally, we have the expense screen where you can raise expenses. This is important as the expenses can be raised against revenue to reduce your income tax payable. For example, if you buy a product worth $400 and you bought it from one of your suppliers, and then you go on to sell it for $500, you won't be taxed at your marginal rate on the $500 of revenue, but rather the $100 profit once expenses have been subtracted. To raise an expense, you simply click new and select the type of expense, for example, business expense and rent. You must then upload the receipt as proof of the expense. You'll then have several fields to fill out. The first of these is the expense date, as per the receipt. Then you'll have the cost and whether GST is included in this amount. After that is the claimable income percentage, which is something you can set up in your settings. This basically dictates how much of the expense you can claim for your business, which must comply with the IRD's rules. If you have any questions around that, you can also do that through the platform in the help desk. And finally, we can put a description of the expense and how it relates to the business. Once you click submit, it gets sent off to Henry for approval. A few days later, once you come back to the screen, you should see the status has changed to approved. And if not, why not? Now under my account, we can see all of Henry's many settings and reports. Under settings, you will have all of your usual items listed here, such as name and addresses. We also have home office percentage, which generally speaking is the percent of your home costs that you can write off as a business expense. Under that, we also have a field for the type of work Work you're involved in. Moving over to the financial tab, you have your bank account details with Henry. This is critical as all of your income flows through this account and Henry can then trace this back to clients and invoices as well as paying the correct amount of tax on your behalf. Speaking of tax, under tax details you'll input your IRD number, NZBN if you have one, and a few other settings. Under personal bank account you'll define where you want Henry to send your income after they've made the necessary tax adjustments. The next tab is branding where you can put information such as a trading name, a logo, and default payment terms for your clients. And under security you have your login and authentication details. The next screen is services where you can create a generic offering with a fixed cost. For example, if you're a wedding photographer and your standard package, let's say is $3,000, here you can create it and save it for future invoicing. The next step is allocations, where you can set aside a portion of your invoices to go directly to KiwiSaver, investments, or other bank accounts. This includes sharesies, kernel, or even your student loan. Another screen is income sources, where you list out your non-Henry income. Mine came automatically through from IRD, as they already had a record of these. And finally we have reports, which you can download as PDF files for record keeping. The last item to show you is the help option at the bottom right corner of the screen. During business hours, they have a team of accounting professionals that can answer any platform or accounting questions you may have. So if you're a contractor, a freelancer, a content creator, or run any kind of side hustle, Henry makes everything much easier to manage. If you'd like a free $25 credit to get started, please make sure to use this link which I've included down below in the video description. I post a lot of content here on YouTube in the personal finance and investing space. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.